Good evening, Officer Spencer. I should thank you for giving me just cause to enter the building. Well, I'm always happy to be of service to the local gendarme. What are you doing here? I was going to ask you yesterday, what happened to your head? Oh, it's anger management. What are you doing here? Somebody seems to be taking advantage of Sonny's legal troubles. They're moving in on his territory. At least one of his shipments has already been hijacked, and there may be plans to take another one. I'm just looking for cigars. And you think they might be in here? My man Carlos is totally unreliable these days. I know that uh, Sonny smokes Cuban and hasn't been ported, so I... Uh... Oh, the hell with that. Look. That shipment of Sonny's that you're looking for, it's here. Jason found some shell casings. Spinelli came up with some security tape footage. Johnny's basically daring them to come after him. That's interesting. Johnny was in the casino last night. Wanted to play a little private game. Ethan Delt played for the house. Johnny lost and still left Ethan with a big stack of chips as a tip. I think they spent more time talking than gambling. I'm afraid that whatever is going on here, Ethan is getting involved. My son is more dangerous than ever. That's actually why I'm here. Jason asked me to arrest Johnny before Sonny orders him to take Johnny out. I don't know if Ethan really understands who he's getting tangled up with here. That's my concern, too. What really happened to your head? I crashed a car. I was going way too fast. Almost ran into Maxie Jones. Is she okay? Yeah, thank God. I was the one who wound up in a ditch, more or less. Were you drinking? No. I was driving back from Shady Brook. I just said everything that Elizabeth needed to hear, and I was choking on it. I peeled out of the driveway and just kept going. I was completely reckless. If I hit Maxie head on, we'd both be dead. What happened at Shady Brook with Elizabeth? She asked me to forgive her. I told her I did. I was lying. That's what made me so angry. Well, you've got plenty to be angry about. Well, I'm just trying to get through it, through this without drinking or driving off a cliff. You know, Helena's been by there. Visited Elizabeth at least twice now. I should be over there protecting her. Wait, wait. Helena? Yeah. Well, she's definitely a game changer. But it's too early for you to be talking about forgiveness. Or obligations to Elizabeth. Even protecting her, it's just too early. I would feel better about that if I could just get past the anger. And my mind is just running in circles right now. I'm watching her disappear right in front of me, Dad. And I don't know what to do, okay? I don't know what to do. So if you can help me out, please, just tell me. Key West is really nice this time of year. I got a couple of friends with boats. We could easily disappear into the Caribbean or South America. You really want to leave Ethan caught between Sonny and John Zakara? That's no problem. We'll smack him over the head and throw him in the trunk and not let him out till we get there. <laughs> well, 
Well, when you put it that way, it, it is tempting. It's doable, cowboy. I don't know. Okay, then let's deal with the anger. You have to, before it eats you alive. Or it makes you uh, take some risks that could be very dangerous. Trust me, I really know this from experience. You may have to just face the fact that you and Elizabeth are over. It may be that your time together is done. You know, things change. Like I've always said, time marches on for some and over others. I understand. I'll get right on it. What's up? Sonny's arraignment isn't going so well. I'm trying to revoke his bail. That means Jason is already planning to bust him out. Yeah, that's a reasonable assumption. Look, this is going to put you in a really bad position, my friend. Really bad. I mean, if this thing escalates the way it looks like it's going to, all kinds of disparate elements are going to move in and try and fill up the void. That means you're going to have to balance your job against the possible dangers that your job is going to bring to your family. I'm talking about Ethan, maybe even Lulu. So there's no time to mess around here, Lucky. Get yourself together. It's gonna get ugly. South American road trip is looking better and better. We could just swing by the casino, pick up your brother, and throw him in the trunk, and disappear. You gotta take care of this, Dad. Okay, look, Sonny's desperate. The situation is bad. All bets are off. Be careful. I will. And you've gotta separate your anger about the situation with Elizabeth from your job. Otherwise, you're liable to make some bad choices and end up splattered all over some sidewalk. Don't do that to me. Dad, you worry too much.